Hi everyone, hope you're keeping well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I set up my Bixby routine and the examples of how I used it. You should really consider using this because it really takes automation to the next level with your Galaxy phone. Without further ado, let's get it started. To get to Bixby routine, just swipe down twice and you can see there Bixby routine is over there. Long click on it, it will bring up all the Bixby routine. So the very first page is automate with some examples, which I recommend you going through them because they are really useful. But for me, I'm just going to jump straight into it and show you the examples. So basically the way it works is that based on if a condition has been met, certain actions or you know functions will trigger. I'm going to show you what my routines are, as you can see right now. The first two functions are button control functions. In order to set this up, you need to install Routine Plus through GoodLocks. Have a look, and if you don't know how, let me know and I'll see if I can show you a video in the future. But basically, I'll show you how it works. If I double press the volume down button, the flashlight will turn on. And then it will ask you to put in a routine name and select an icon, color, etc. and then just take next and it's done. Similarly for flashlight off, I use it, I set it up as double press volume up and then the flashlight will turn off. The reason why I set this up is because, for example, if you're out and about, you do not want to be, you know, unlocking your screen, you want to have access to the flashlight on and off really quickly, all you need to do is just double press the volume down button for me anyway to turn on the flashlight and if you're done just double press the volume down button to turn the flashlight off. Right, I'll see if I can show you. Right now, double press, you can see that the flashlight is on and double press again the volume up button, the flashlight is off. It's as easy as that. The second routine that I'm going to be showing you is this, charging. I'm just going to go from top to bottom just to make it easier. So as you can see, it's charging. The way I set it up is that if I am charging in, in at home, in the office, then the always on display will turn on because when it's charging, I'm most probably not going to be using the phone and I want to be able to you know, have a quick glance to see whether there are any notifications, what is the status of the phone, etc. So that is a quick way to show them. Right, the second one is the, I named it as Google Pay routine. So basically I don't turn my NFC on all the time because of security risks. So when I set this up, the way I worked is that if Google Pay is turned on, the NFC will be turned on and I can, you know, make payment, etc. And when it's done, when I close it, it will reverse the actions. So once I exit the Google Pay app, the NFC will turn off. The third one is streaming video. The way I set it up is that if I'm playing YouTube, Dolby Atmos will turn on, auto screen rotation will also turn on, and do not disturb mode will turn on. This ensures that I can concentrate on the video without any disturbance. And when I exit, the YouTube app, all these functions will be reversed. So the next function, you can see it's related to driving. So we have two cars in our household. Basically, I set it up as if I'm connected to the car's Bluetooth, I will want voice wake up, my phone unlocked and turn my Wi-Fi off because I'm going to be going out so I don't need the Wi-Fi function to be turned on. So I set it up as if it's connected to the what the Bluetooth of my certain cars, then all this function will run. And when I am disconnected from this Bluetooth, all this function will be reversed. It's the same for mine, our other car, as you can see. The next routine that I'm going to be showing you, it's a very good battery saving option. You can see that I've named it as power saving at night. So basically, the way I set it up is between the period of 11 p.m. at night to 7 a.m. in the morning every day, 
power saving will be turned on, eye comfort shield will be turned on, brightness will be turned down all the way to 1% and I'll turn on the extra dim to 60%. This way, I can ensure like the basic function of the phone is still working, but it conserves very little battery. In addition, because of the brightness and extra dim function, if for whatever reason I need to look at the phone during the night, I won't be blinded by you know the harsh light. So when the routine ends, all this will be reversed. Basically, they will the phone will turn off the power saving, all this will be revert back to normal. So the next function is to do with Google Maps specifically, as you can see from the name. So the way I set it up is that if Google Maps is open, motion screen smoothness and screen resolution are changed from WQHD to Full HD. This is because when I am navigating, it uses GPS to lock precisely of our location. And you guys know that when you're navigating, the, your phone gets hot because of the GPS. It consumes a lot of energy. So to counter this, I just set it up as the screen resolution from WQHD plus to Full HD plus. And then when I'm driving, I want to be able to use voice wake ups because it is illegal here in the UK to touch your mobile phone when you're driving. So with voice wake up, I can potentially reject call. Next thing is screen orientation. So when you are driving, sometimes you want to rotate it to landscape. So with this function, it will turn on the road auto rotate. And most importantly is the location. Obviously you want to use the precise location. So I set it up as on and when I, exit, all this will be reversed. The next routine is specifically to do with um, listening music through my specific Bluetooth speaker. The way I set it up is that if it's connected to my Bluetooth speaker, I can listen to the music streaming, for example, from Spotify through the Bluetooth speaker, but in the middle of the listening session, when a phone rings, I can speak Pick using the phone instead of shouting to the Bluetooth speaker. So the way it works is that you select the audio device to play, phone, and I believe it's phone or call. Let's have a look. Yeah, phone. And then the other audio will be played through the Bluetooth speaker. And when the routine stops, it, everything will be reversed. Thank you for bearing with me to go through the examples. I've got four left, so let's go into it. The next one is turn on location on apps. You can see that if certain apps requires the location to be turned on when you run it, so you could select the app and pick the one that runs it and turn the location on. When you exit the app, the GPS will be turned off. This way you don't have to keep your GPS running all the time and it consumes, you know, battery. The next one is, as you can see from the title, phone unlocked at home. You might have noticed from now that I don't really turn on my GPS all the time. So the way to get around this is that if I am connected to my home network, which is this, then I will keep my phone unlocked. That way I don't have to keep unlocking my phone when I'm you know, within the area of where my Wi-Fi is at home. So when I leave my home, I will be out of the Wi-Fi range. Then the phone will revert back to you know, locking every time it's screen off. So the next one is specifically to do with wireless earphones. In my case, which is the Shure earphone. So when it's connected to my Shure earphone, I set it up as it start playing the Spotify and I could also control the volume of separate devices that is playing sound as you can see here. Now we're on to the very last one. Thanks for bearing with me. So the very last one is very simple as you can see from the name it's auto rotate screen app. The way I set it up is that if I open certain apps the auto screen rotation will be turned on and when I exit those apps the auto screen rotation will be turned off. That's it for me really. Thanks for bearing with me. 
if you don't use this Bixby routine, I thoroughly recommend that you should spend some time into it because it has a lot of functions. Other than the examples that I've shown you, you could also go through this because that is where I started, you know, how to customize the routines to my liking. Thanks all. Bye.